other one. So I'm going to show you a pair of shoes that I decided to do for my, pretty much I say, I call them my adopted niece. Um, I decided to do these shoes for her for Easter. And the shoes, when I purchased them, they were just silver all over. They were just a silver shoe. So this is a picture of the shoes, what they looked like before I did anything to them. And this is the final results of her shoes. I added a bow on the front, as you can see. And I decided to do these shoes in two tones since the shoes were already silver. And I didn't want to make the shoes difficult for her to get on. So I didn't add any rhinestones on the, the little strap across the front of the shoe. I left it silver. So I decided to add, uh, use crystal, clear rhinestones, and crystal AB uh, crystals as well. So I'm going to pick one of the shoes up so you can see it better. And the bow in the front, I added a crystal AB, a line of crystal AB rhinestones right down the center of the bow. And the bow is completely silver with the clear rhinestones. And the front part of the shoe, as you can see, is actually the crystal AB crystals. And then toward the back of the shoe, I went back to the crystal clear um, rhinestones. Since the strap was um, in the back of the shoe, of course, um, it was already silver. So I wanted it to blend in with the strap. And like I said, I left the strap like it was so it would be easy for her to uh, get clothes. Um, if this had been an adult shoe, I actually would have uh, put crystals all across here. But I wanted to make it, like I said, really simple for her to put her shoes on. So I didn't want to make it where she couldn't get it through the little um, the little uh, latch or hoop on the side. So I left it open so it would be easy for her to close. So yeah, so those are the shoes I decided to do for her. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you later, YouTube. Till then, take care.